This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, how long is the diagonal of a rectangle that has a length of eight units and a width of six units? So again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. In this case, we're talking about a rectangle that has a length of eight units. So that's gonna be eight there and there and a width of six units. So that's gonna be six there and there. And we wanna know how long the diagonal of this rectangle is. So in other words, we're interested in the length of that right there. Now, when you put a diagonal on a rectangle, what you create, as you can see, are two identical right triangles. And if it's easier to see, let me go ahead and break this apart so you can see one of the right triangles more clearly. We know this is eight and this is six. And we're interested in determining the diagonal of this rectangle, which is the same thing as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Well, we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of this hypotenuse. And the Pythagorean theorem says this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. Again, the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle, so this is gonna be c. We'll let a be eight and b b6. So this becomes eight squared plus uh, six squared equals c squared. Eight squared is eight times eight or 64. Six squared is six times six or 36 equals c squared. 64 plus 36, again, you could do it off to the side if you can't do it mentally, is gonna be 100. So this becomes 100 equals c squared. Again, we want c, not c squared. So to get rid of this square, we're gonna take the square root of both sides of this equation. This crosses out, this says c is gonna be equal to the square root of 100, which is 10. All right, so the length of this diagonal right here, we found using the Pythagorean theorem. We know that it is b 10 units long.